chaos and madness in this RV right now. The alarm for the propane just went off. <laughs> the stupid thing is off. It's not even working on propane. It's on the solar. I don't even have, there's nothing. I didn't even cook this morning. It's off. It's all off. This thing ran and my drawer is still broken. <laughs> And we're still at the Walmart parking lot and everybody left. <laughs> and I'm wearing this. Look how bad the fashion faux pas that I'm going. I can't Such think about even dressing myself. No, I've been up since three in the morning. Three in the morning I've been up. I know. When I finish RVing, instead of taking me home, take me to the loony bin. I don't think I'm gonna make it back home. I just can't take it anymore. Break, it was all falling apart. On the way home, I'm gonna trade in my trailer for something else. Ooh, truck camper. We're not gonna fit in a truck camper. Mom, I was just kidding. Have you seen him and his dog? <laughs> We can fit in an Airstream, though. Oh, did you reset it? No. It's, it's green now. I don't smell any gas. No, the, the tur I shut off the gas. There was no gas. But what does it say? It has to be replaced after 60 months? I guess. Yeah. I never heard of that. We have to replace that after 60 months? How many? How That's many? what it says on it. So I have to bring that to a service technician to do it? It might it might be working just no. fine. Maybe if we just shut off the brake, it'll be set. All right, we're out of here. Turn that off. Oh my gosh. What are we? He is stuck and the refrigerator is broken. We have no food. <laughs> Often. I can't even do anything. Yesterday, at least it went, ah, <laughs> ah. No, oh, no, 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 we're not doing that. We should have taken the slide out yesterday. We gotta see if it's gonna work again. Well, it's not doing anything today. I think maybe it's the battery, the power. So I'm gonna get the book for the slide out. He's pushing it? Don't push it! He's pushing it from the outside. I'm sitting on it! Mike, don't bang on it! That's not gonna work! There's a book for that! Hanging the slide out, it's gonna break even worse. If we have, if we, if we, if we, if we, if we, check the breaker and see maybe it's the breaker, just in case. Mm. Pull out the breaker. My refrigerator is not working. We don't have any water access. We have to dump our tanks and we're stuck here because of the slide out. This is the issue that we're having. We can't be here. The battery is fully charged and you still do not have power. Check the terminals and other connections at the battery. Did you hear what it said? But over there loose at the I battery? I haven't got to that part yet. Okay. Well, I know it's the connection to the motor. Yeah, it says, the problem is all the wires are on this side, aren't they? problem is, is yesterday I uh, would jiggle the the uh, wires for for the motor mm -hmm. and it would work again but it's not even it won't even come in a, a little bit so I can do that well, what the manual slide out operation the crankshaft is located on the motor transmission housing turn the crank counterclockwise to move the room in and clockwise to move the room out the crankshaft is located on the motor transmission housing. That's inside where we can't even get to it. Doesn't make any it sense. Doesn't make sense. Like why would they? You <sighs> can't even get into that. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if can that be open there with the screwdriver? Yeah, it can. That it could yeah. be over there maybe, and that. Pass me the screwdriver. Where's the screwdriver? Is that a Phillips? That might be where the where the thing is. It has to be able for you to be able to get to it. You gotta get a battery that's uh, at least 690 cranking amps, marine cranking amps. 
because it's got to run the motors and that's uh, and it's got to be relatively the same size that'll fit in the box. So front battery's not charging? Honestly, even if this isn't the problem, she's about to need a new battery anyways. And she don't want to need a new battery while she's on the road. No. <laughs> if we left Christian cleaning out the box where the battery goes in the front, yeah. and we're going into the Walmart now to head it to buy a new battery. Okay, so we went to the O'Reilly's to get the battery because the Walmart didn't have the marine battery, right? The no, they didn't have the, they didn't have the quality batteries. There's yeah. this Everstar crap. But yeah. uh, we got the 690 uh, cranking amps on it and uh, I tested it out with the multimeter that we got. We got this for later on. Uh, if this doesn't, if this isn't the problem, then uh, I'm going to be able to diagnose what the problem is with the multimeter. Find out where the energy isn't coming to. Right. So. I'm hoping that it's the battery. I'm calling the bed it's the battery. Because you said that the tongue jack didn't come up, right? The other battery was totally shot. I tested it out and it was still, 7 volts. And the tongue tested it too. Yeah. Okay, quick test on it. it is a 2013 and I bought it in 2012. The battery was 2012 though. Yeah, we purchased the multi-grade steel wool. Then we got the bulb grease also. Like electric bulb grease and you can get that at Walmart so between these two I paid about six dollars O'Reilly sold me the battery was ninety eight dollars for that battery which and then the multimeter was twenty two which is cheaper than Walmart because Walmart sells one for twenty nine um, and another one for nineteen but not the best quality and then we got also a filter for the generator at O'Reilly because we were there and it looks like the kind of filter that our generator uses so we got that there that breaks the budget again but if it, if it's just this that solves the problem of the slide out that will be great Jen's gonna learn how to do it right and I'm gonna go make sandwiches because Mike didn't have breakfast this morning it's almost three o'clock we were supposed to leave a lot earlier but but it's good to be out of here we got the slide out in it was definitely the battery that was bad be careful Why did, well, he's the one that's coming in. He had time to honk, he had time to stop. He did. You have right away because you're going straight. He's coming in from all the way out there. Yeah. So it's cloudy today, so we're running the uh, fridge off of the propane. of the propane because we had some issues and we're not sure if the solar was able to charge enough. So we're just going to leave it on propane for today. We're going to the state park to dump. And then we're just going to find a place to rest for the night because it's been really stressful to me. A lot of things going on. And I've been up since 3 in the morning dealing with this refrigerator. They have motels here and then it says RV park. But it's really just like to park your RV. It's really not. They have RV parks that have no dumps too. And yeah, they have RV parks that have no dumps. In New Mexico. Yeah. That's frustrating though because you want to be able to dump on your way out. That's why we're in the situation that we're in. Yeah. I'm going to wash the dishes today. We have to go dump because my sink is full of stuff. And that's what we're going to do. Next time on Simply Arvine. Trinidad State Park. There's such thieves over there in Colorado. And he told us that we parked here on this piece of land that we're not supposed to be parked. So we gotta move. Hey guys, we are now in off grid self reliant RV. Subscribe to watch us on the road as we put this RV to the self sustainable test. And don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoy the efforts we are putting out. As always, thanks for watching.